fast, fast from the gun, uh, not the finish you wanted. How did the race play out for you? Um, I mean, we kind of predicted it would be fast, but I was just gonna. Uh, I, w I wanted to go with the pace and see if I could do it, but I'm really now I'm really glad I did it. But um, Pete just wanted me to stay with the next pack and go for a medal, and I didn't. I just I don't know what happened, but I just couldn't stay with that move when they went. Just legs didn't have it in it. Yeah. Or I don't know. I have no idea, but maybe it was mental. Who knows? How were your nerves coming into this? Fun? Pretty good. This is the less nervous I've been for all the rounds. Um, I guess I don't know. Yeah. And mentally, I was ready to run 3:30 in my head, but I guess physically I wasn't. Did you think that was the way it was going to go? With your yeah. Injury? I just thought. I mean, I figured there would be a big gap, um, and we would run like another race for 3:34. But they were they were running the race for 331 up there, so uh, you can't. I mean, you can't prepare. You can't plan for that. So. Do you think having three races in four days might be a reason why you were feeling pretty tired? Maybe I like to. I like pride myself on being good at rounds. Um, since the Olympic trials, since like six races in ten days, but um, I guess I need to get stronger. I don't know. Maybe train with Jerry and Centro. <laughs> Are you, are you thinking about I'm doing that? I'm totally kidding. <laughs> I, mean, that's what I just said, wanted to give um, you guys some popcorn. <laughs> he said that after 2015 is he saw the um, Aguida medal and he ran 12.59 in the Diamond League final. Yeah. I mean, do you think that's something you need to do? Like, what do you think if you run for a 5K? 5K, I mean, right now, maybe like 13.20. But uh, I definitely want to get back to Portland and train with Eric Jenkins. Uh, do some stronger workouts like that, but I'm, hopefully I don't have to run a 5K, <laughs> maybe 3K. Ends the season on a tough note, but how would you sum up 2019 overall? Uh, I think this was like the best year of my life, not just running. I uh, had a great time living in Portland this summer. We started our year right in Phoenix with Sun, um, and everything's just been so fun up until this second, you know. And even even now, I can use this as fuel for the next season. Sometimes you don't want to end the season on like the highest note possible, or you run like crap the next year. But obviously, I would have loved to win. <laughs> with that being said, um, so yeah, I mean, I'm really happy with the year and and everything that's happened. So I know it's soon, but is there anything you think you could have done differently to improve your result there, or do you think you pretty much just didn't have it in the legs? Yeah, I think maybe um, maybe if I had been in the front as the, the move was made, I would have like mentally just been like, okay, I'm here, let's do it. But uh, I don't know, I'll have to go back and watch when I was starting to get dropped. We'll be able to see it, I'm sure. Sorry. It's been, obviously you've been focused on this, but you're committed to staying with Pete Julian on the Oregon Project going Oh, forward. of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. I couldn't think of another coach right now for me. What has Pete told you about the situation thus far? What, what has he encouraged you to, I mean, what, what has he said to you in the wake of Salazar's fate? Um, we just decided we were going to talk about it when we got back to Portland um, to see what we're going to do with the group and Pete and uh, the athletes. So um, maybe we'll know in a couple weeks after I'm done with my off season and having fun. For but, Cherry, oh sorry. Yeah, oh no, you're great. You're good. For Cherry to run 329 from the front, how important, can you put it into colors how hard that is to do? I, I mean, I can't do it, so it's, <laughs> it's almost impossible. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, I, I just can't really imagine running 329 right now off a pacer, let alone alone. So, and he goes out in like 54. I think I saw the clock stop that. So, I mean, it's like if anyone is watching that doesn't run, it's like almost impossible. Were you Were you thinking like, oh crap, when you see that? <laughs> a little bit, yeah. You see 54 on there, you're like, did I go through in 54? <laughs> but um, I don't know. It, it was It was cool. I, I knew we were going to run fast, and I was like excited for that. But then I just couldn't go with the move. Do you have anything fun planned for the offseason? Yeah, uh, I, I board a flight at 1 a.m. to go to Croatia tonight. <laughs> so, what are you doing in Croatia? Just party. <laughs> party. Yeah. Are, you gonna, are you gonna have a beer on the flight? I'll have a, a couple. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, thank you guys so much thank for the week and all the interviews. You guys were you guys were really good. Um, thanks, Greg. Really Thank you. Appreciate it.